Hey, it's Lori. I'm just getting to my job for the day. My first job. I have one more after this. Then I have a doctor's appointment today. The guy that lives here is, he's not here. He goes out to lunch when I'm here and he's texting me. He's texting me to make sure I could get in okay. I'm like, yeah, the door was wide open, so it wasn't a problem at all. <laughs> he's still texting. I think that one's just a thumbs up, so, okay. <laughs> but last time I was here, I couldn't get in the door that he told me to use. They have a, There's a keypad, a keypad on the door to get in. And I always go in the back door, but he told me not to use that door anymore because his, he, his granddaughter moved in with him and that's her area now. So but I couldn't get in the, the door he told me to use. It wouldn't unlock. So I went in the back door anyway, because I mean, you know, I just couldn't get in any other way. So I went in. He texted me this morning and said, hey, the batteries needed changed on that. So the batteries were dead on it, I guess. Never even thought about that, but yeah, I guess it would take batteries. So he said, yep, I changed the batteries. You'll be good to go. And he was just texting me to see, to make sure I got in okay. Yeah, I did get in okay. The door was wide open. So he laughed. He's like, oh, okay, well, I'm a dummy. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. He's a good guy. Kind of a fun guy. He's a Harley man and he knew my dad and yeah. My dad was a Harley guy too, and that's why that's why I mentioned that part. But anywho, I guess I'll get in with this job. Then um, I have my card here with me. I have this guy, and I have my next house. And then I go to the doctor at 4:45. I have my appointment, and it's for blood work, and it is fasting blood work. I could have made it earlier, but I I didn't want to cancel any jobs. Well. I didn't even think about it until last minute. My my one guy actually quit having me come. So I could have come this morning. I could have because I didn't have that job this morning. This is the day I would normally have three jobs. But it was too late by the time I realized, oh, duh, I could probably go in the morning. But it was too late. They didn't have anything open. So I'm just keeping the 445 appointment. And that's fine. I usually fast all day anyway. But I'm used to having cream in my coffee. And I can't have, I can have water and black coffee. And that's it. So I have my iced coffee. I do have my iced coffee with me. But it's just black. There's no cream in it at all. So it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. But that's all right okay it's not the end of the world I'm gonna live <laughs> and like I said I'm used to fasting all day but I am used to that cream in the coffee so I missed it this morning but I've been every now and then just drinking some black coffee and it's oh, I'm getting a phone call oh my goodness I'm not gonna take it I'm just gonna let that one go it to voicemail it's a confirmation for another doctor's appointment it's not for me either it's for brendan for some reason they send me the confirmations i mean he put my name down as his like emergency contact but i didn't know i was going to get all the notifications too you know so that's kind of different i mean he's an adult so i don't know i guess he gets them too. i'm pretty sure Okay, I was just making sure it didn't cut me off. I just heard a little a little tone. I think they just left the voicemail or they're leaving it now. But anyway, yep. And I'm also gonna stop at Costco. Unless I really, really don't feel like it, but I'm probably gonna stop at Costco because if nothing else, I want some ground beef for dinner tonight. Cause you know, Terry Least, she's been making these taco bowls for days now. <laughs> she's been eating taco bowl after taco bowl. And I'm like, well, I want one. <laughs> So I'm going to grab some ground beef and I'm going to make up a whole bunch of taco meat for the freezer and whatever, whatever we have for tonight too. And probably the next day, I suppose. I don't know. We still have some leftovers. We don't have much leftover anymore. I think the leftovers just about, whoa, just about eaten up. Hold on. I dropped my card. Oh, and I just remembered I brought the Darth Vader lunchbox today. I've got a couple ice packs in here and... I'll show you what I have in here because I might be starving by the time I leave the doctor. If I can go to Costco before the appointment, if I have time, I will. But if I don't go until after, man, I'm going to be starving. <laughs> so here's what I brought. I literally thought of this at the last minute, you guys. So I just started throwing stuff in. The rest of the pepperoni from the um, eclipse day when I made the eclipse eggs. This is the rest of that pepperoni couple cheese slices that were left in this package I just threw the pack in there <laughs> and I have some of the Dave's killer bread 
just in case I want to make a cheese sandwich instead of just eating the cheese. So that is what's in my, my Darth Vader lunchbox today. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I did have to pick up some masks because I've been coughing, I've been sick. And if you're sick, you have to wear a mask in the doctor's office. And so I brought a couple masks with me. And do I have the whole, no, I didn't bring the whole box. But I just brought a couple masks. I stuck them in this envelope because why not? They fit perfectly. So a couple of masks. I'll put a mask on to go in today since it's a requirement. Because if I don't and I start coughing like a freak, you know, that's not going to look very good. But plus I do sound sort of stuffy. I mean, I don't know. I'll be able to tell when I'm editing. Do I sound stuffy or not? <laughs> so anyway, I got to get this job done. He's going to be back from his lunch before I even get started. <laughs> I'm all done with that job and now I'm off to my second one and Courtney sent me a picture of her lunch today and she had get over these railroad tracks I'm not even in my hometown and there's still railroad tracks but she had salmon uh, some sort of potatoes and it looked like it looked like sweet potato tots is what it looked like they looked really good and broccoli and I texted her back. She hasn't responded yet, but <laughs> I texted her back and I said, you know, I have blood work at 445 today, so I'm fasting. <laughs> so she, she's going to feel bad. I know she is, <laughs> but it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. I'll just send her back some laughing emojis or something. But anyway, yeah, I just had to tell you that part, but I'm doing fine. I'm pretty used to the fasting stuff anyway, so it really doesn't bother me. Like I said, just the, the coffee kind of bugs me a little bit. I wouldn't mind having some cream and some kind of flavor in my iced coffee, but hey, got to do what you got to do, right? All right. So I'm at my next job. Talk to you in a bit. Okay. My second job's done and I'm off to, oh, what time is it? I'll wait and see what time it is when I get up there because I mean, it's a little bit of a drive and I've never actually driven there from this town that I'm in. So we'll see what time it is, if I have time to go to Costco or not, when I get up in that area by the doctor and I have all my windows down. But it is really hot in here and it's 78. Okay, I guess. I thought it was in the 80s, but. Seatbelt. Okay. I'm always burning up after I'm done with my jobs anyway, so. You know, okay. I'm just going to talk to you in a bit. i got to turn some air on. I'm just pulling into the doctor right now because I don't have time to go to Costco and get in and shop. And, you know, if I had to wait in line or something, I'd really be in trouble. But I only have about 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, about 23 minutes until my appointment time. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and go in. I feel like I'm pretty early, but... I'm going to go ahead and go in because maybe I can just get in early. It's just for blood work. So if the girl that does the blood draw is available, you know, she'll probably just go ahead and take me now. But yeah, so I'm just going to go in now and see if I can't get in early. I almost forgot. I need to put a mask on just because um, in case I go into a coughing fit or something, you know, I haven't worn a mask in so long. Which way does it go? I don't even know which way it goes. I guess it goes this way. It's in my eyeball. These things are too big. Let me give this thing a twist. That's better. Okay. Okay, here I go with my mask on. You can see right through the sides of it. Oh my goodness. Oh well, I guess. I'm done, and that was not too bad at all. That did not take very long. <laughs> Didn't take long at all. Uh, 
yeah, so I don't have anything to tell you about it because it was just a blood draw. I have a Band-Aid now. Other than that, <laughs> no news. But next week I'll come back and find out. I'll probably find out before that because it'll send to me on the app. I'll get it on the app before I come back. So, yeah. Um, something smells like some kind of perfume. I'm smelling the Band-Aid. It's like, I'm not sure what I'm smelling. It's like, I hardly waited in there at all. The chair that I sat in was like wooden. I can't imagine. I don't know. I don't know. I smell like some kind of perfume that I've never smelled before. So I can eat now. <laughs> yeah. I'm really not bothered by not eating. So, but I would really, really love some like iced coffee with cream in it. I would love that. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and head to Costco now. And yeah, I'll get back with you when I get back. I'll actually get back with you in the next video. <laughs> so yeah, come back and see me again tomorrow and we will go shopping at Costco. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>